All right. This is practical theory, theory, theory. Lesson, lesson, lesson. Ten, 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 ten. Letter, letter, letter. Lines, 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 lines. Yeah, it's cool stuff. All right. Lesson ten. Ledger lines. Yep, that's right. Ledger lines. All right. So, what do ledger lines do? Well, ledger lines extend either the staff upward or downward. And it doesn't matter which kind of staff it is. Could be treble clef. Could be treble clef. Could be a bass clef. Could be any clef, because it really doesn't matter. So um, what they do is they're little tiny lines like this. See how there's small lines and how the note is above this ledger line. And this one's got the ledger line through it, just like this one here. So ledger lines can go above or below staff. And you can add as many as you need to get to the note that you'd like to get to. So in this case, G, A has a ledger line, B above the ledger line, and then C. It's two ledger lines above on the of the F line in the treble clef. Middle C has a ledger line through it, and this is the same as the C right here. And that is easier to see actually in the grand staff here, because this is middle C. So, as you can see, the ledger lines, again, can go below staff, above staff, or below, because this is below the treble, but above the bass, and, you know, above staff. So, again, it doesn't matter which clef, but when you want to add or go to higher notes or lower notes, you use these little ledger lines. All right. So, number one asks you to name the notes indicated. Now, to name the notes indicated, you need to look up here, unless you just know it. So, that third space is C, and the one way up there is C, and this one is also C. You're going to have to do the rest, though. For number two... Now you're in the bass clef, and the first one is F, and this one's B, this one's F. And you're going to have to do the rest of those, because it's your worksheet, not mine. And number three, what you're going to have to do here is you have to draw four, or however many they say, of the notes. So in this case, to draw four E's, you're going to need a ledger line here. Don't need one here. Don't need one here. Don't need one here. And for the A's, you're not going to need one here. Not going to need one here. Not going to need one here, but you do need one here. So I did part of number three, part of number two, and part of number one for you. You get to do the rest. Have fun.